Hello traders, it's Samurai Trader here. Welcome to this session. How did they trade any market? In today's session, I'm going to be recapping uh, 10 trades I took and where I netted $1,171 after commissions in around 20 minutes. What I say to most traders is if you want to earn a full time income part time, really you need to allow on average two to three hours now I've been doing this for 27 years so it makes it a little easier for me actually close to 28 years now makes it uh, a little easier for me to get in and out as you'll see in a moment but allow you two to three hours a day and you should be able to achieve a set of results that I'm going to display now I know for the young guns watching this video a thousand dollars perhaps is not going to be enough for you uh, maybe you're after your two three five thousand dollars a day it just simply means you need to increase your position size or the number of contracts that you trade now what I'm going to be teaching you today you can apply to futures Forex or stocks it doesn't really matter which market you trade uh, it's all about trading patterns so let's give a disclaimer over and done with so traders there is a risk in trading don't trade with money that you can't afford to lose and of course as you're watching the recording here please feel free to pause the recording to read all about the risk so in today's session I'm going to be covering 10 trades or showing you 10 trades that I took in around 20 minutes uh, look I actually call it the scalp and run technique now it is day trading that I'm in and out fairly quickly on most trades it's not rocket science what I do it's very straightforward I'm looking for certain patterns to set up and that's the great thing about us as humans where we're wired to recognize patterns so once you learn the patterns that's really what you're looking for now look I'm not 100% proud of the session that I'm recording and covering today because I made a couple of silly mistakes and goodness gracious sometimes I sit back and say to myself what did I take that trade for but I want to explain what those are because that's how my students learn that's how my members in my live trading room learn if I fluff up fluff up a trade I'll tell them about it and where I went wrong but it, this is also a great opportunity for us to learn this is where we apply what we call black box thinking what can I learn from this trade so it won't happen again or I can attempt to make sure that it doesn't happen again so we're going to be trading five contracts on the NQ uh, so we netted after commissions 1171 now I'll explain these when we get to the charts I've just taken a couple of screenshots here as I mentioned I was it was all over and done with within uh, 20 minutes now if you haven't already done so please uh, click on the box below and under the video and you'll be able to download my free manual the truth about day trading so you'll see the description below make sure you click on the icon whatever it is there an arrow or a bell whatever my IT manager puts on there make sure you subscribe so you can keep up to date with my weekly videos even better still after what I show you what I'm going to show you come and join me this is uh, for $197 um, uh, what you purchase by joining my members it's a ten thousand dollar plus program there are dozens of videos far far more than 20 hours there's all of my indicators are free there's over 15 trading strategies and methodologies that you'll actually learn and I also have a special going also don't worry I'm about to get past the ad in a moment you can also attend one month of my live coaching sessions so I run coaching sessions and a live room so you can attend the coaching sessions uh, eight sessions they're live and they're recorded if you can't uh, attend where I'm explaining step by step exactly how I day trade how you can day trade any market where we get in where we get out where we put our stop loss etc etc and by the way there are 38 powerpoints in my program uh, describing just about every setup you can imagine the best part is you only need to focus on two setups to make it in this business so click on the link under the video you'll be able to find out more details about my program end of advertisement let's get going 
okay so in this session we're going to be looking at I now call it the nifty NAS the NASDAQ I used to call it the nasty NAS and because it's, it's very easy to get what we call whipsawed or stopped out on the NASDAQ and if you look down here we can see here the overnight margins on the NASDAQ 16,000 eight between 18 and 16,000 it's because it's quite volatile say compared to the ES which is about 30 40 percent cheaper it's because of the volatility but volatility is good traders because what we want to be trading ideally is a market that is moving now to start trading what I'm about to show you that is the time frame I'm going to be showing you we're going to be looking at both uh, well I'll look I'll probably for remember quickly show you what it looks like on the tick charts but we're going to be mainly looking at the Renko charts to trade it correctly we're going to be looking at a four tick Renko which is about the lowest time frame I want to go right it's just otherwise it's just too fast and down here to really trade this correctly you need an account size of around three and a half thousand now before you go oops that's no way I just don't have that set of money I'm going to show you in a slide in a moment how you can get going with just three or four hundred dollars uh, also on the micros and build and you can do it surprisingly very quickly we're also going to be looking at here how you net 200 a day so that's really my target so you'll see target 1000 a day that's five contracts an average of $200 a day per contract now what it means to you is here if you average 200 a day on a three and a half thousand account by week 11 you potentially have the opportunity to be earning around $10,000 a week trading 12 standard lots and how this compound table works is that you only start trading a second contract when you double your money so you're earning here a thousand a week thousand a week thousand a week once you get to seven thousand you then start trading a second contract so what we're really after here traders is four scalps a day scalps are fairly quick trade usually we're in and out within a few minutes now over here as I mentioned by 11 weeks we've got the potential of being there and our account size within 11 weeks has also grown from three and a half thousand up to 44,000 now I could show you some absolute ridiculous figures on this table by showing you how, how you can compound even quicker however that's not the reality of trading now if you don't have three and a half thousand dollars you start on the micros Okay, so with the micros you only need three hundred and fifty dollars to do what I'm showing and your target is ten percent so a micro contract is ten percent of the big contract now how this works is in 16 weeks following this so starting off with 350 twenty dollars within 16 weeks your account is now at four thousand one hundred and eighty dollars what do you now do you're now going to jump up to the big contract so you're now up to this uh, 4180 and you're going to go now and start trading a big contract now for those with the eagle eyes you may notice down here that I'm saying you need five scalps if you're trading the micro compared to four on the big contract and the reasons for that is your commissions are higher on your micro contract so you're paying a little more per trade so it's actually slightly harder to achieve our daily targets okay so um, that's why I've sort of um, increased the number of trades you need to take so here's what it here's the bottom line here's what it really means to you start with the micro now what if you already have four five ten thousand dollars consider starting with the micro anyway make all the mistakes you're going to make on a micro account then you can always go and top up your account and get trading a large contract but if you don't have that sort of money start off with 350 in 16 weeks your account is now at 474470 you now go over to the big contract where three and a half thousand is required now why do you require three and a half thousand because of money management rules we never ever ever risk more than two percent in any one trade never 
traders I still see articles written and, and YouTube videos where they say risk 5% you're gonna be mighty fine that's just not true the reality is you are going to some stage have five or six losing trades in a row that is trading fortunately with our setups they're very high probability uh, low risk we don't have that hop ha uh, have we don't have that happen too often however it is going to happen so when you're risking only 2% you're in the game still your accounts not being devastated now based upon three and a half thousand within a further 11 weeks you're up to your 10,000 a week it's taken you 27 weeks to get there starting off with $350 I know of no other opportunity that gives a committed trader this sort of opportunity so the question is where will you be in 27 years now also I sorry 27 years the Freudian slip 27 weeks now one thing I was just thinking uh, something I was going to say then is that uh, there's two types of traders we have those traders that are merely interested in trading you know they're willing to kick the can see how it goes traders trading is not for you if you're committed yes I'll do whatever it takes I'm willing to put in two or three hours a day of study it ain't rocket science it's just looking at the charts watching for the patterns you've got a, a massive potential over every other trader but most traders are really just interested they're not committed you've got to become a student of the markets but once you get to the charts in a moment you'll see it's not rocket science it's just a matter of taking the time of learning and what I say to all traders this is a 90 to 180 day internship effectively however you can do it part-time but after as I mentioned it's actually over 28 years now I still learn something new every day so let's go and have a look at this 20 minutes of scalping now I don't want you to think that 20 minutes is the average as I said you need to really be allowing for this sort of income two hours it's just not the live trading itself but it's the prep work getting ready looking setting yourself up reading your rules going through your chart patterns okay so typically I'm usually in and out within 30 minutes on average uh, a newer trader will take a few a few hours realistically because you've got to do this processes you've got to do before you start trading but it's important that I tell you that because once again um, if you join me as a member um, I, I want you to stay as a member where you're attending my classes you might even choose to join my live trading room and so therefore uh, I've got to really tell you how it is anyway enough of that it's about to, let's go to the charts but a couple of things we need to be considering now I can't remember what where these are on the charts we're about to go to but these are so important that is we've got to know where our pivot levels are if you don't know what these are very straightforward so it's beyond this session to teach you what pivot levels are the open high low and close levels once you know what they are oh okay that makes sense okay it's really that straightforward but you've got to be checking each day where are my pivot levels where are the prior days open high low and close levels very important where are the major EMAs the 89 and 200 particularly on your anchor charts we need to know where our swing highs and lows are on our charts the intraday highs and lows that is the market breathes in and it breathes out breathes in breathes out those points where it comes down or up to uh, they will quite often act as bounce points support resistance levels the current days high and low and round numbers which I'm not going to go into today but uh, becomes very important once again not rocket science but very very important so let's get to the charts so what we're looking at here is what we call a Renko chart now Renko is a really easy form of um, uh, reading a chart it's a Japanese term which means bricks I just call these um, uh, 
candlesticks usually by the way or bars but they really Renko means in Japanese apparently bricks but we can also use tick charts if we wish as well but what you'll find is particularly if you're a newer trader or a struggling trader a Renko is much easier uh, to read so let me just warm you up as we lead into the trades that uh, I took on this particular day so for members we've of course going to have a lot of our members uh, watching this so uh, that would have been a uh, 2 or a 3b 2b uh, 13 20 uh, 21 13 21 13 now as we come down we punch through the pivot we're trending down here's another 3413 if not a 2b and I should just say for those that are not familiar with my videos I've coded all of the setups just makes it easy rather than calling it the great big long name of all the things that it takes to align so I've just got um, 2b's 13b's uh, even this one which is a 3d now what on earth is a 3d it's three divergences where I've got divergence on three time frames I've actually discovered traders there are there's a time frame relationship uh, between an entry chart anchor chart one and an anchor chart two where when you have all of the conditions meet up on those time frames it dramatically improves uh, your probabilities of a trade even if you have it set up on two time frames now this is actually a 3d is a reversal trade okay so this is a very very high probability now this is also where I know what happens after this because it's really important I show you here now as we pull back okay we're now pulling back you know one of the most challenging things can be when we pull back like this are we heading towards a reversal or is this going to be a trend continuation well on an anchor chart on the AC1 uh, the anchor chart one that's what that means and AC2 is the anchor chart two if you're a brand new trader we start you off on two charts okay just makes it easier side by side what this means is an AC13 or an AC14 means I've got three or four of these indicators all saying go long take this trade and it works really well with what we call reversals it just makes it a lot easier for us to pinpoint reversals now for the pure price action traders that are watching this video what we can also see is price action I want you to notice and this up here is a 200 EMA this is what we call angulation trade see the distance between price action and the 200 well why do we get the greater the chance we have for a reversal okay so whenever we see price action moving apart like this we're getting ready for a reversal and then I have my anchor chart also then helps confirm that now this is where I'm going to be quick because my trades I took is another five or ten minutes away on the charts here but just there would have been um, a trade now I didn't take this for another two or three trades here I wasn't on the charts at the time but you just would have had a really nice uh, winner there now remember I said uh, you need just four six step trades a day so four trades a day net trades a day after any losses will easily net you your two hundred dollars per contract now what I mean by steps see these here these are called steps I call them steps so a four tick Renko means that each one of these bricks is four ticks or one point in size okay and each step there is two ticks so what I'm looking for is six steps now realistically I'm not going to be in this trade till till about here so one two three four five six now that actually rallied up eight eight steps but I got my six so there is well that one romped it in so if I'd have taken that one here's another one uh, here is another one and here is another one now uh, we could have wrapped up we would have wrapped up well I would have I've just got a set goal each day it's about lifestyle so you easily would have finished up for the day now just there by the way that is uh, in less than 10 minutes now if we'd have taken this next one uh, it would have been a loss 
and for experienced traders here I want you to notice what I'm bouncing off I'm bouncing off a pivot so pivot straight is remember right uh, in that slide I said you really want to take notice of where your pivots are because we bounce off those they act as what we call price magnets in fact we've got a setup we call the PM trade the pivot magnet over t28 because when you've got a couple of or two certain things happen you've got a 90% chance you're going to rally up and hit the pivot so from there really a bit closer from there to there that's a 90% trade give me those odds any day now let's assume you did take that now you've got another one you ride on the pivot however it's a second try and up we go and then we had another one now this is just a random day by the way okay now up we then come uh, here's another romp and just there by the way we had um, uh, for members watching this is a 200 B on your anchor chart one and it was a two a cross between a 2 and a 3d now why we went uh, then you had a 3d you had a 2d thereafter had a nice um, uh, just there you had a lovely um, uh, another uh, that would have been a 3b right now we're getting into the trades I talk okay so let's talk about the trades that I actually executed now this one was my first trade of the day and so this was that and by the way this is uh, 2 35 a.m. Central Standard Time so that's 3 35 a.m. now the markets are open 23 hours a day so if you're a new trader the mark you they, they go 23 hours a day and so as we head towards a New York session or the London session uh, we usually increase the time frame Okay, this is a four tick you might go up to an eight tick very important because you know traders say to me well which is the right time to uh, right time frame to trade and I always say whichever is tradable meaning one that's slow enough to trade right so this is the first trade I took and this was um, for members watching it was a t3 and a 1da now when I take these trades I sell down to the 89 which is that cyan line and so I got out there thank you very much first winning trade so what actually happened now uh, I then had a had a 3b lined up here it was really a, a 3bd for members watching and for the sake of me I don't know what I was thinking okay uh, I rallied up and traders this is one of the lessons when you trade you've got to be focused because I've got 10,000 members I'm answering emails I'm live trading and getting ready for a live room uh, distract doing things don't do that now you'll see that nearly every trading session I'll say I shouldn't have done that here's why I did it I was doing this or, or whatever um, you've got to be focused when you are trading you've got to be focused now as you become better at trading the markets very forgiving okay that is if you've got the right strategy the probabilities are on your side but I jumped out of this trade and and what it was the candle you can't really see it there started to reverse and I thought it was going to end up with what we call a t10 I think that's what I was thinking at the time and I got out of it now I got out of break even only to see it then fly up and it was just you know it was a classic I just should have been in that trade it would have been a really nice one but once again we apply black black box thinking later on we look back what why did I do that what can I learn from that and you put it in a journal I then had another uh, a really nice trade three so if it was trade one uh, basically nice little winner uh, break even then I had this 2da and I got out at this point it come down it sort of bounced and I went to break even and got out at break even now those that know with 2da uh, or with 2ds I usually going to touch the um, or target I should say, should say uh, the 89 and I got out there because quite often as you know they end up being a 34b so I got out uh, at that stage break even again got out too early and what it is I think because I had the live room launching in about an hour uh, before the New York session and so I wanted to uh, get my trades in for the day and so I was just very you know 
being overly quick that is you know it's jumping in and out and mucking around uh, with it and I call it the scalp and run technique but I was too fast with the run anyway I got out I then had a nice t10 and I think that's what it was over here I think I was going to get a t10 so I jumped in on this t10 uh, it then rallied down it actually touched my target but didn't fill me Okay, uh, one disadvantage of the NQ after hours is it's not massive contracts available. I mean, you know, you, your market depth isn't massive, unlike, say, the ES. So it come down, didn't fill me, it then come up. I, I put my stop loss back up one tick above the high, which is where I put my stop loss, one tick above, one tick below, one tick above. And it come up and I was saved by my stop loss then it filled me completely I hit my target thank you very much um, so you know uh, what was I going to say then all right now I took this trade here for 3b trade number five and this is just your classic uh, 3b thank you very much I then rallied up uh, trade number six I took this I took this short down to the uh, 89 here then this is where I then stuffed up and let me show you what I did just there where is it I'm pretty certain I kept a screenshot because I showed members what not to do but it's easy to do when you're busy now on the matrix on the dome we've got here so this is just a, a random day I just wanted to give this example I wish I was in the I was in profit and I was at a potential reversal point and so instead of uh, closing my position I clicked market and I went short a further five contracts I clicked on the wrong button easy to do when you're doing multiple things not 110 percent focused so I went short a further five contracts the reason I told members about this it's important otherwise you know I, I recovered very quickly got the money to recover and it worked out I got out of them break even I went on to to hit my target a couple of minutes later but you've got to be aware of that okay so so there I basically on both of those I got out at break even okay I then uh, went short on this trade here for members watching this was a t10 on the anchor chart one and come down here and this is where I was not quick enough that is it come down it virtually was just above my overall target and I wasn't quick enough and it shot back up and stopped me at a break even now the great thing traders is you know with trading platforms the ATMs you've got your break even facility once you hit so many ticks you go to break even but also means is you get to break even but sometimes you don't want it to get to break even you want to lock some profits in but the point was I wasn't quick enough because I was looking at something at the time I then went and jumped on trade number 10 thank you very much now a couple of minutes later uh, I'd already hit my target then of um, 1380 after commissions is, is what was it there is uh, 1171 so I have over 200 per contract that would have been a really nice one if taken all right now here's a couple of simple rules on this the stop lock loss maximum is always two percent now I trade at less than one percent why because I find it easier um, you know, I'm an older trader that is when I'm mature age I'm 63 I want a low risk um, low stress trading life so that works for me but it means also though my return on capital is less but that's okay it suits me but if you're a younger gun um, or you don't have the funds available uh, two percent is your maximum okay I was trading five lots targeting ten trades here all right now over here I've mentioned let's apply black box thinking what can I learn from today's trades I had two errors which really I just shouldn't have made I had two break evens where I should have taken a profit I wasn't quick enough because I wasn't focused so the lesson here is traders focus 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 discipline 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 okay patience 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 
now unfortunately so many traders will watch this and they'll just move on without taking notes or taking notice of this but this is the difference between uh, what makes me a winning trader and a losing trader is applying these rules and analyzing now you'll see day in day out most days I have a successful day because I'm trading the right markets the right time using the right time frames the right targets the right setups which is very very important so as we then finish up here traders uh, as I mentioned earlier please subscribe to my channel if you haven't I bring out these videos every week uh, you'll see I'm, I'm consistent on my results because I'm a pattern trader I'm looking for patterns that appear in the market each and every day better still $197 you can join my program get all my indicators templates powerpoints just there's hundreds of hours of training oh and what I didn't say earlier that also your first month of coaching is free after that should you wish to continue um, uh, you get an email from me would you like to continue if you do you fill it out and then it's $97 a month cancel at any time that's should you decide to opt in after your first month now if you don't if you choose not to what you do have is eight live two-hour sessions uh, included where I walk you through step by step so traders I look forward to seeing you well perhaps I will show my face next time you've seen it in slide one here um, here I am uh, seeing you in my next uh, how to target 1000 a day video which I'm actually going to be recording very soon thanks traders